when a person is putting their child to sleep, the right way would be, let me take out a Shema card. Here's a Shema card. Come, let's say Shema together. Let's sing Hamalak together. Let's talk about your day. Let's see what... Let's talk about tomorrow. But unfortunately today, there are mothers pulling out a phone and saying, come, let's watch a Barney. Let's watch something on YouTube. Let's watch a clip. It, isn't it fun? Isn't it great? Isn't it like, whoa? This is the Yedin Hashim and Achman Yod B'Shilu Yodahin. This is not Chinuch. To keep, to give, to give your children devices and say, here, here, keep yourself occupied. Because I, I'm busy. I have my things to take care of. I have my episodes to watch. I have my, my excitement on the internet. So here's yours and leave me alone. Take your device, I have my device. and Alamak. This is B'Shilu Yodahin. This is B'Shilu Yodahin. Mothers have to keep their devices not only filtered, has to be secured, it's only for them. And on that, when you open that phone and you want to show them something, they, the kid shouldn't also see other stuff. Oh, mommy, you have that? Like, what happened to you? I didn't know you had that. No, 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 I just had to download it. The kids, the kids, the kids, the kids. If a mother has a phone, the kids will have a phone. It's a matter of time. It's, it's not like, maybe, maybe not, it's for sure. It's for sure going to happen. And yes, till 13, you might control your child. You might say, no, you can't have this, and you can't have TikTok, and you can't have Fortnite, and you can't have that. But after 13, 14, mommy, goodbye. There's a lot on my screen, you're not getting into my phone. You're not touching my phone, this is my device. You have yours, I have mine. I'll do what I want, you do what you want. It's unfortunate. If it would have stopped at eight years old, that the child, this is sakana, this is our ish sar ve'oyev. We don't want this. This is haman hara hazeh. This is something bad. If that's the chinuch in the house, if that's the chinuch, then the child will say, mommy, get rid of it. How many kids got their mothers to get rid of their phones? How many kids? It's, a, it's, it's amazing. How many kids got their parents to put on a filter? Ma, what are you talking about? You don't have a filter? What's the matter with you? You know what you could do on this? It's embarrassing that if a child has to tell their parent, put on a filter. But you know what's more embarrassing? When the child goes into your history and says, Dad, this is what you're all about? This is what you're holding? You weren't smart enough to delete your history? That's, that's worse. I had a kid come over to me, 13, 14, he says, you think I'm doing something bad? <laughs> Look at my father. That's bad. That's, that, you, you're taking that child and saying, never learn from me ever again. I am not your father when it comes to respect of good things, of how to do good things. And this is Yitomim Hayinu Ve'en Av. We have fathers, Baruch Hashem. And the fathers are working hard and they're giving the kids everything they can in America. There's no such thing as saying no. We're not allowed to say no to kids. We have to give them and give them and give them. Now it's time to say no. But Yitomim Hayinu, that child that wants to look up to their father and say, Dad, you're my, you're my role model. I, I'm amazed by you. Look at the chesed that you do. Look at the Torah that you learn. You learn dafyomi. You learn this. You learn that. You have chavrusas. Yeah. But what's going on with this? I can't learn from you anymore. And the child will never tell you that he saw it. So you'll never know that that child, what he really thinks about you. And this is what's happening daily. It's happening. It's unfortunate. 